welcome to a beautiful morning here in Kenya. It is a beautiful and sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky after the rain last night. My name is Brent Yo Smith. I have Dangerous Dave on camera, and you're on your very own privately guided live African safari from Kenya and South Africa. Now, we have a lovely big male lion. Oh, he's just stood up and he's feeding on a buffalo carcass. We were here last night. Remember, this is 100% live coming to you from Kenya. Look how big his belly is. Now, I'm not sure. There were three of them here last night, and I can't see the other two males just yet, but it's quite possible they are being flat cats in the grass. And you'll see there are quite a few other vehicles around, uh, also enjoying this incredible sighting. Now, remember, if you want to ask us any questions, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Now, the main reason I came here this morning is I was hoping to see a bit of lion-hyena interaction. Now, the hyenas have not quite got brave enough just yet. Uh, we've got a couple lying around and uh, there's about seven in total now uh, chatting to the hyena researchers in the area uh, they say you need about seven hyenas per male lion to push them off the carcass so seven isn't enough for three they need we need 21 at least hyenas yeah so you're listening to me uh, call some friends buddy um, so you can go steal that buffalo from the lion so and they all are dotted about in the open plain around us so uh, you never know they might this afternoon gather enough resources to be able to challenge those male lions there's another one there that one's like oh no there's not enough of us i'm going home i've had a long night looking at a piece of buffalo meat i can't eat i'm done There we go, Thompson's gazelle and a hyena. And is that an elephant? In, no? There's some topi. I thought there were some ellies back there as well somewhere. There were some ellies a little bit earlier. Ah, there they are. Those, there they are in the distance in the mist. Topi and elephant. So lots happening out on the big open plain this morning. Now Monica's wondering, am I not afraid of being attacked by the lion? Monica, I'm not. I'm quite safe in my in my safari vehicle here. Now, here we go. You must remember that these lions are, have probably grown up or have grown up with safari vehicles around them. And a safari vehicle, a lion doesn't know that there's a person in it. They don't sort of um, see a safari vehicle as a threat. It doesn't smell like anything they, they know. It smells like diesel or petrol or oil and... And even human beings don't quite smell like they used to. So a lot of a lion's memories of human beings will be instinctive, um, based off 200,000 years of sharing savannas with human beings. So if we were to get out on foot, it would be a very different thing. And even on a warm day like this, with a lion with a fat tummy like that, if I had to walk up to that buffalo carcass, there are most likely chances that he would run away. Now, man is the dominant diurnal predator, and... Uh, Lions are the dominant nocturnal predator. So what that means is, uh, over the last 200,000 years, human beings have dominated the savannah biome during the day, and a group of men is quite capable of chasing and killing a male lion, as the Maasai have proven over the last couple of thousand years, but they used to hunt lions with, with spears. However, when it comes to dark time, the night time, the lion is dominant because we can't see. And that's one of the reasons human beings want to move back into their homes and safe places as soon as it gets dark. Because at night, we just become another meal in the food chain. Now, Jessica was wondering about the birds, Dave. Mm. There we go. So Jessica was saying, what birds on the other line there? Well, that particular bird is a hooded vulture. It's waiting for a gap for that line to move off so it can have a snack. And um, the bigger vulture species haven't quite descended from the trees yet. They're still warming up. Um, we've got some white back vultures, I think. Yes, there's white back vultures there. No Rupal's griffins yet. There's also another hooded vulture there. Um, but I think on a nice clear day today, um, yesterday was quite windy, quite chilly. But on a hot day like today, the thermals are going to be rising and the vultures will be spotting this carcass. So I think we could see quite a few more vultures here as the day progresses. And I think that'll only be a much later. Oh, Bob Vulture incoming, Dave. There we go. You see it? Oh, there, you go. there we go, Dave. Dave's just woken up and he only had tea, not coffee, this morning. 
It's okay, Dave. So here we go. What do we got there? White back vulture. Look at him, how he uses his tail. Topkis is wondering, uh, do lions ever hunt new prey when they still have leftovers? All predators are opportunists, and if something was silly enough to wander into that lion, uh, he would definitely eat it. And uh, oh, look at it. Now, quite often, especially on a cold morning after a bit of rain last night, look at that vulture spreading out his wings, uh, drying, warming up. Oh, he's got the right idea. It's quite nice in the sun this morning. I think by 11 o'clock we're not going to be saying that, but um, in the morning this lovely warm sort of feeling you get from basking in the sun as that vulture is doing at this very moment. Oh, what is that in the distance there? Oh, just some more topi. Uh, the hyenas are not gathering on mass to storm the lines just yet so I think we'll probably try here this afternoon or this evening and in the meantime I think we're going to carry on see what other wonders the Maasai Mara has for us on this magnificent morning oh the hyenas heads are not even up they are flat 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 but look at that vulture really enjoying the morning sun. Now of course the sun is up and bright already here but it sounds like it's just peeping over the horizon at Juma. Let's go have a look with Ali.